so I have some fun questions to start things off since I have a little extra time. Um, and, and I don't know if you guys have ever thought about this, but I'm going to throw it out there. If you could get financing to make anything you want, like any TV show, any movie, what would you make and why? Well, I'm fortunate enough that something that is my dream project that I do want to get financing for to make is actually happening right now and I can't talk about it. So uh, I don't know if I have an answer for you there because it's actually happening. So, um, yeah, sorry. I wish I had something, uh, something. I, I, I feel like, honestly, it's anything that's like adventurous, anything that is has passion and is exciting and um, tells a story that that people need to hear, which is honestly why. I love this movie so much, not the segue, but um, anything that tells a story that I wish I could have seen when I was younger, you know, anything that that um, is really making an impact on the world. Uh, you know, I think that's my answer. I definitely I definitely agree with that. Um, that's 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 such a like difficult question because like there's there's so much that you could do with that. Um, but I I would I would want something um, that that really just like sp- speaks to like th- that gives an important message and 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 speaks to the world and um inspires them to uh to I I I I don't even know but like something 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 that's that's fun and uh emotional and really that people can connect to uh, on a deep level um I feel like my answer is similar to Josh like my first answer would be it's something that I am working on it's a script that I wrote and I'm pitching to people. And so I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to put, I can't say anything because it will happen. I want it to happen. Um, but I guess another thing that also will happen when I put my mind to it, um, I write music. So I would love to get my, like my project castles adapted into like a film adaptation. I don't know if you've seen like Black is King by Beyonce or something like that, where it's like a musical, but it's not necessarily the musical theater style something like that to really map out the story of the project of the EPs. I think something like that would be so amazing to create. Love that. I know that you guys are all fans of Broadway. At least I think you guys are all fans of Broadway. If you could go back in time and watch any previous Broadway production, uh, what would you go back and watch and why? Okay. I have an answer for this. Um, So, so I, I, there's, there's, there's there's an off Broadway production happening right now, but if I could go back, it's not on Broadway anymore. I would love to see Little Shop of Horrors when it was on Broadway because um, I love that musical so much, and um, I I also am a huge Wicked fan. So if I could go back and see the original cast, um, I was also very lucky to be able to work with uh, Norbert Leo Butts and uh, Michelle Federer. Uh, on the movie who are amazing uh but like if I could go back and see that that would be that'd be really really cool um if I could go back and watch dream girls I'd be done with life like oh my gosh I because I love the movie so to like to be able to see it and like see it live that would be so amazing because it's one of my favorites and then also is it still running I don't know Hamilton I would love to see Hamilton at like live that would be so fun to see on Broadway those are all great answers. Uh, you know, it's funny. I I'm I'm like blanking on other than like I, I saw Wicked recently for the first time, and it was very obvious that the cast have been doing it for a minute, and so I was sort of like, yeah, you know, I wish I had I could go back and see it with the original cast. But um, another one is is I was actually in New York um, for like my first time ever, pretty much right when Dear Evan Hansen was premiering. And um, I had no idea what it was. I hadn't heard the soundtrack at all. And all my friends were going and they're like, do you want us to get you a ticket? We can get you a ticket. And I was like, dear Evan Hansen. I was like, what is that? I don't even know what that is. And I wanted to hang out with this girl. So I was like, you know what? It's okay. We're just going to go get pizza. And like, you guys enjoy the show. And, and now I'm like, looking back, like I listened to that soundtrack like every day for a year. And I'm like, dude, how did you not go see Ben Platt? As he premiered Evan Hansen, um, fortunately, I was able to see Andrew Barth Feldman um, later, who is now one of my best friends. Um, but, you know, I think that I always go back and I'm like, why, why would you waste a night in New York and not go see that? So I guess that would be my answer. That's a, like, that's, a, that's a life lesson, though. I think that in the future, when you get invited to something, uh, you will be like, I am going to the Broadway. I will see totally. the pizza. You know? the pizza uh, for all, will be there <laughs> exactly uh listen first congrats on the movie i know there's going to be a lot of people that really really love this for soon-to-be fans 
for each of you, what do you think would surprise people to learn about the actual making of the movie? I think there were so many things about the movie that were like super interesting to like know how it happened behind the scenes. Um, I think just a lot of the scenes were actually filmed like on location. So we were actually in a theater, actually in a rehearsal space, actually in the middle of Times Square. So that was super interesting to see um, how they like shut down the areas just for our film. And we were like, just basically in New York. So it made us feel like we were actually there. I thought that was really, really cool and really cool to experience um, just being on actual sets. Cause I've never done anything like at that level before. Yeah, yeah. I was you I, I was going to say exactly that. I was going to say um, like how I think it would be surprising to people, like how much we filmed like at the actual places, because a lot of a lot of movies like um, like build like sets to make it look like the place. And those are all really good. But it was something else entirely for like the filming experience to actually go and be at those places and experience the the entire like world. It, it was just, it was just so, so cool. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like what comes up for me other than that, that was actually my first answer um, is uh, people would be surprised that this is Ruby Wood's first film and TV experience. And this is Tim Federley's first directing experience. You know, I think, I think when you see their performances and when you watch the film, like it's sort of hard to believe, but it's almost a proof of concept, in my opinion, that that Ruby Wood stepped into Nate and just shot for the stars and went beyond them in the same way that Nate, you know, is like, I know that I don't have any experience doing this, but I'm going to go to New York and I'm going to make my dreams happen and shoot for the stars. I think it's really cool how he's like a living, walking embodiment uh, of that. So I think, honestly, people are just going to be surprised by how much talent this whole cast has, Arya included, and emphasize you know and I think um I I, I just think they're going to be blown away by by the personality and the joy brought by each each actor uh which of you which of your friends and family were the most excited that you were working with Lisa Kudrow and are any of you guys like friends super fans um I I I have a I have a good answer for this so uh one of my I definitely love Friends. It's an it's an incredible show. It's so funny and just so genius. And um, one so I one of my aunts um, in real life, not Aunt Heidi, uh, <laughs> is is a Friends super fan. Like she's seen all the seasons multiple times. And um, it she she just like absolutely lost it when I told her that I was working with Lisa Kudrow. And I I actually um, sent her a video of me and Lisa together. And and I was like. Uh, it was, it was, it was uh, like, after, after I had met Lisa and gotten to know her, I was like, Hey, so my real aunt is, is like a really big fan of yours. And, um, uh, maybe we could make a video for her. And Lisa was like, totally. So I, I made, uh, my aunt, her name's Lacey, my aunt Lacey, a video of me and Lisa. And she just, she just freaked out. It was so, it was so amazing. Or any, or any of you guys, uh, friends, super fans? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I love Friends. I've seen like every episode, I'm pretty sure. So I'm, I'm a huge fan. I think my sister, uh, one of my sisters is a specifically Lisa Kudrow fan, like specifically. And she's also like very similar to her in a lot of ways. I literally think they could play like relatives in a movie. Um but, but yeah, when I told her, she was freaking out. She's like, is there any way to get on set? And I was like, I don't know. Cause you know, the COVID protocols, but, um, but yeah, so I, I definitely am a fan and, and my family's a fan. So it was a pretty neat, pretty neat thing. Yeah. Me and um, my parents, like we both love or both, all three of us love friends. Um, I think when I remember when we were on the zoom, me um, and Ruby, when we first had got the job to like meet as the leads or whatever we um when he was telling us okay so joshua bassett is in this film and i flipped um and then he said lisa kudrow or have you guys seen friends we're like of course um phoebe from Fr excuse me the best <laughs> character on front like phoebe her like comedy very similar to lisa kudrow in real life i feel like that was just i was just super duper excited because working with her was very fun and i know her from a lot of her other stuff as well so my sisters knew her too that was just really fun to work with her that note, I got to wrap. I'm just going to say congrats on the movie for real. And I hope it's a huge hit and good luck with the rest of your speed dating. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.